Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm going to pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but you know what? What am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy's sick. The vet says she needs surgery. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. You know what? I think I got it covered. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good. Babe, I'm Whoa. it. Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up. I need his money. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean. And you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is so dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that, there's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you. I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm going to go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said... No, stay. I think you're going to want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10K worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're a dirty, rotten cheater. I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait. Ladies, I'll buy you anything. No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're going to tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're going to tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because after I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words. Understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? 
No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Hey, loser. What? I'm assuming that was for a task. What number are you on? I just got into the 90s. Haven't you heard? The last 10 tasks are impossible. I'm sure I'll be fine. Slap someone? Too easy. Hey girl, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, sure. What the heck? Sorry. No, you're good. Just remember you owe me one. Hey Giselle, have you heard about Brandon? No. His 95th task was to break someone's arm. And he did that for some money? Yeah, he did, but the thing that scares me is the whole school is going into the 90s now. Things are gonna get crazy. Stab someone? There's no way I'm doing that. Hey, Giselle? Jess, hey. Remember I said you owe me one? Stab someone? <laughs> There's no way I'm doing that. Hey, Giselle? Jess, hey. Remember I said you owe me one? What is it? I need to flick your forehead for a task. <sighs> Thank gosh. I thought you would have to, like, break my arm or something. Relax, I'm not even in the 90s yet. I do have to tell you something important, though. What's up? I can't tell you here. We have to go somewhere private. Okay, maybe I can tell you here. Jessica, you're scaring me. Just tell me. A group of guys are working together on the tasks to split the cash. Oh my gosh, there they are. What do we do? Run, we have to hide. We have to protect ourselves. Here, take this. Scissors? You never know what's gonna happen. You guys really thought you could hide from me? What do I do? Giselle, do anything, quickly. I just stabbed him. You two really thought you could hide from me? Jessica, what do I do? Giselle, do anything, quickly. No, I just stabbed him. It's okay, let's just get out of here, it's not safe. Okay, Giselle, what's your next task? My next task is to kill someone. And it's already been checked off. Wait, did I kill him back there? I mean, you probably did. Come on, let's go. Okay, I think we can stay in this room for a bit. How are you so calm about this? There's something you don't know. I've tried to complete the hundred tasks before. Y you mean you've done this before? Yes, but I failed, so now I'm gonna help you. What's your next task? To shoot someone. Okay, here, take this. How do you have a gun? Because I already knew this was gonna be the next task. We have to leave, they found us. We're not gonna be able to outrun them, you have to shoot them. Because I'll do it. We're not going to be able to outrun them. You have to shoot them. Giselle, what are you waiting for? Do it. I just shot someone. Okay, come on. We have to get out of here. No, I can't believe I just did that. Snap out of it and stay calm. What's your next task? Next task is to break someone's arm. Okay, come on. Let's go. What are you doing? Please don't hurt me. I can't. The longer you take, the more painful it's going to be. Just do it. Come on, Giselle. You have to finish this. I'm on the last task. This is almost over. I mean, it's not quite over yet. Check the last task. What are you doing? Put the gun down. You thought you were going to win? Jessica, how could you? I took it once, then I check it. The itsy bitsy spider. Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know. I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. 
Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear, this isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little lamb. Miss Claremont, lamb, please stop singing. Little lamb, little lamb, Mary... Little Stop. lamb. Stop. Mary had a little... Oh. oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? what? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs and then my teacher tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Rock a bye, baby. Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey, are you okay? I'm I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Uh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine. Just come here. Oh, I got it. <sighs> Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. <sighs> the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. Ugh. Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There. He's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you, are you coming into the tree where dead men called out for his love to flee? Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Well, I'm allergic to cats, so guess I'll have to have a twin of myself. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. My mom wants me to go do the dishes. I'll be right back, okay? No, no, I can do them for you. For real? Totally, your mom will just think I'm you. Just stay here and I'll be right back. Okay, well, thanks. Maybe having a twin isn't so bad. Bye, babe, talk to you later. Was that your boyfriend? Yeah. Can I see a picture of him? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, this is him. Aw, he's so cute. I know, right? Damn it. What's wrong? I just realized I have a history test today. I didn't even study. Oh, I could take it for you. I'm great at history. Wait, you are? Yeah, I totally got this. I'm just like you, you know, but I'm just a little bit smarter. How'd it go? Well, I got you a 100%. No way. Yep, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go meet your friend Amy and we're gonna go get her nails done. Wait, what? Is something wrong? Well, it's just Amy's my best friend. Oh, I know, but she thinks that I'm you, and I just thought since I took your test, I could have some time to relax, but if you don't want me to go, no, go ahead. You deserve a break. Hey, sorry I took so long. We went out to dinner after. You did? Yeah, Amy is such a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Oh, where are you off to dressed all fancy like that? I am going on a little date with Ian. You sure you don't need me to take your place? No, that's okay. I'm just kidding with you. Go have fun. Hey girl, how'd it go? It was so nice. He... Why are you looking at my laptop? Oh, I was just looking at some pictures of you and your boyfriend, and I was reading through your diary. 
I did not know you struggled with anxiety. Hey, that's private. I just thought since I'm your twin, I should know more about you. Get out of my room. After all I did for her, and she's gonna yell at me like that? I don't think so. I just want to say I'm sorry for looking at your laptop. I shouldn't have done that. Don't even worry about it. I shouldn't have got so upset at you either. It's totally fine. I forgive you. Are you going on another date? Yeah, Ian's gonna take me to go see a movie. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that for you guys. Hey, um, I grabbed this out of the fridge. I didn't really like it. Do you want it? Actually, this one's my favorite, so thanks. You ready to go? <sighs> Whoa. Oh, what's wrong? I don't know. My head just feels really weird. Oh, honey, you need to lay down. <sighs> That's it. Just relax. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Perfect. I'm doing your boyfriend a favor. He's gonna have so much more fun with me than he would have with you. <sighs> she stole my phone and she locked all the doors. I knew I should have gotten that cat. Hey there, sleepyhead. Did you enjoy your little nap? Where's Ian? Oh, he just left. We had an amazing time. He even said that I'm a great kisser. You kissed him? Well, more like he kissed me, but... <laughs> you really should have done that. Give me back my phone. No, I don't think I will. Remember when I told you that I was smarter than you? Well, guess what? I'm also stronger than you, too. So which dress do you think Ian will like better? This one? Or, hold on, do you think he'll like this one better? I think you're right. I think he's going to like the first one better. Well, thanks for the help, but um, you probably won't last too much longer in here. I found out in your diary that you're hypoglycemic. Whoa, she has a hundred lives. I wish I had a hundred lives. I'd have so much fun. Hey, Brianna, do you want to come jump off buildings with us later? No, I'm super busy. I'll pass today. Thank you, though. Come on, you have so many lives, you should use them. She has so many lives, and she doesn't even use them. That's so boring. If I had that many lives, I would not be like her. Did you want to come drowning with us? Not today. Sorry. Are you sure? It's going to be so much fun. I'm sure. Hello? Honey, come quick. We were in a terrible accident. Your sister's in critical condition. She's not going to make it. She'll need at least 99 lives to survive. Take mine. But honey, you only have one life left. And that's all I need. Just do it. Hey, you're awake. Yes, sissy. I feel so much better. Uh, where'd your lives go? You have to cover up your one life, or people will see you as a target. A target? Yes. They see people with one life as weak and want to eliminate them all. Why'd you cover up your lives? I was just sick of everyone bringing up how many lives I have. I just thought covering them up would be easier. You know, most people that cover up their lives only cover it up because they only have one life and they're scared. Last time you saw me, I had a hundred lives. How would I lose lives that fast? You know I never use them. Hey man, we should wipe that makeup right from her forehead and see how many lives she truly has. Good idea. It's against the law to cover up your lives anyways, and we don't want any one-lifers hanging around here. Whoa, Brianna, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, it's just really hot in here. Brianna, you only have one life left? I knew it. Let's get her! How many words did you get this year? Zero? That's even less than last year. It's okay, baby. Don't be upset. How about I take you shopping? It will cheer you up. You like that dress? Alright, let's go buy it then. Oh, you want to try it on first? Alright, let's go. I'm very sorry, sir, but it's only one person per change room. No, I have to come with her. She's going to need help with the zipper. Don't worry, sir. I'll be there to help her with that. Please wait here. Oh, it looks like you got the zipper just fine on your own. Help me. Help you? I... Do you know that man? Here, I'll donate some words to you. I contacted the police. They're already on their way. You tell them everything when they get here, okay? Wait right here. I'll be right back. What did I hear about the police? Let's go. We're going home. How could you do that to me? You're trying to leave me? That's it. No food for a week. I'm so sorry I had to take away your food, baby. You know I love you, but you trying to run away really broke my heart. I never had the words to believe it. Really? Is that how it is? No water today. 
Listen to me, baby. If you apologize, I'll give you your water privileges back. Police, open up! I'm in here! Nobody wants a 17-year-old anyways. Hey. Sissy, hi! Do you want to play dolls with me? Actually, I need to tell you- <clears throat> Susie, there's a family that wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Today might be your lucky day. Guess what? They want to adopt me, but I think they'll adopt you too. No, Susie. It's just you. What? No. Listen, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna visit you all the time, and I want you to have this. Mom and Dad gave me this when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. As long as you're wearing it, I can always find you. Sissy, do you promise? I promise. I wish Mommy and Daddy were still here. Me too, Susie, but these people are gonna take really good care of you. This just in, a couple accused of identity theft is on the loose. If you recognize these people, we urge you to call the authorities. That looks like the people that adopted... Susie. What does your sister look like? She looks a lot like me. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and she's always wearing pink. Okay, listen, I got my men on it right now. Here, take my card and let me know if you get any more new information. I told Susie that they were good people, but they weren't. How could I let this happen? They seemed so nice. Who knows where they're taking her? I want you to have this. Wait, I can know. I gave her that necklace and it can track her. It shows she's headed to New York? And where do you think you're going? To save my sister. Oh, are you insane? You're staying here. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. My mother is responsible for you. If anything happens, she gets in trouble. So come here. <gasps> hey! You are not to leave this room. No, wait! <laughs> Officer Blart, I am telling you that I have a tracker on her. You should have told us that earlier. Besides, our sources are showing her in a different location. Well, then your sources are wrong. I am going to New York, Central Park, where my tracker is showing her. No, kid- <laughs> Now I just have to sneak out without my foster mom noticing. Don't worry, Susie. I'm coming. It's showing she's inside that warehouse. My sister is gonna- That's enough talking. We are sick of your voice. Hey! Well, look who it is. You shouldn't have come here, kid. No, you shouldn't have taken my sister. You think one little punch is going to stop me? Mm -hmm. Nobody move. Officer Blood here. Let's see some hands. I tracked your phone, kid. She was right. Susie, are you okay? I'm okay. I knew you would find me because cause you promised. That's right, Susie. I'll always find you. We found a family that wants to adopt both of you. Really? Yes, congratulations. Are you a genie? No, I'm your mama. Come on, of course I'm a genie. <sighs> okay, no need for the attitude. So, can we, like, wish for anything? Nope, there are rules. And here they are. No wishing for money? You already had a chance to get five mil. I... Okay, that's fair. I wish for... Stop! You gotta think about it. All right, all right. Okay, I got it. I wish... Wait. Shh. I wish... You're gonna regret this. Oh my gosh, I wish you would just be quiet. Your wish is my command. I didn't mean that. Mm. No, listen, that doesn't count. Come on, turn her back. Sorry, I can't take back any wishes. Hmm? Huh? Jeannie, come on, just give her her voice back. The only thing you can do is wish for it back. But if I do that, I'm only gonna have one wish left. Look who can do math, yes. Listen, you don't really need your voice, right? Mm. Ow! Okay. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. I can't understand you. Mm. I can't understand you. If only there was some way that she could communicate with me. Now is that the time for texts? This is serious. Mm. I am so bad at making decisions. I wish that I was smarter. Mm. All right, you got it, kid. I know what to do. I've decided I wish for her voice to come back, but this time... My voice is super powerful now? People are literally going to pay to hear you sing, and then we can make lots of money. Just try out your voice right now and um, see what happens. Okay. Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. All right. All right. Okay. <sighs> this isn't a lamp. It doesn't even have like a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? 
Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dumb dumb, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie, you're right. So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. A breeze! Congrats! You got three wishes. How many did you get? <gasps> 5,000! Wow, baby! This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay? Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey, I, <laughs> I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure? It's gonna cost a lot of words. So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good, here you go. Only three? You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my- Did you finish all of your chores today? Good, here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my dad. What was this doing in the trash? Ella, what is in your- Give me that. Get back. How dare you look through my trash, you nosy little child. Oh, what? You want me to give you more words now, hmm? Well, that won't be happening, and this letter isn't from your father, it's from someone pretending to be him. If you go through my trash one more time, you'll never get another word from me again. You missed a spot, Ella. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. You keep cleaning. See you later. Now's my chance to find the letter. This has to be real. Aunt Hilda tricked him into giving all of his words to her, and now he's stranded? This whole time I thought he was dead. I have to help him, but I need words. I have to help him, but I need words. Where are you off to? What are you- Oh, today's the first day of school. Well, have fun making friends with no words. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm late for work, kid. Excuse me. This isn't working. Hey, that old lady looks like she's about to- Oh! Thank you, dear. I almost fell over. What's your name, dear? Oh, you don't have any words, do you? Well, I have plenty to spare. Here you go. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Of course, honey. Use them wisely. What's that smirk on your face all about? Excuse me? I'm making dinner. Do you want some? No, thank you. How did you... Who gave you words? You know what? Let me see that notebook, you secretive little child. Will work for words? You thought you could lie to me? Think again. How could you not tell me my father was alive? He writes to you every year, you know. And I always throw his letters in the fire, but this year I got a little sloppy and put it in the trash. Why would you steal words from him? He's your own brother. He had millions of words and would never share with me, and neither would your mother, which is why I had to get rid of her. What? Your mother's surgery didn't go well for a reason. Look, I needed you to become an orphan. Why? So legally I could control your words. You are sick, but I have a lot of words and I'm going to send them to my father. <laughs> Go ahead. He needs at least 3,000 to come home. Well, that's perfect, because I have just enough. What? Well, then I can't have you doing that. Thanks to your big mouth, you'll be staying in this attic until further notice. Dad? It's me, honey. I got your words. I missed you so much, Ella. Your Aunt Hilda has been arrested, but are you okay? I am now. So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl, any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on, let's get to class. Oh, look, it's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. 
Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, Mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm going to get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please, I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes, I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay. At least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch. Yeah, okay, I know. You're going to make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're- Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. A what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. 
How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... You stay back. Oh. You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <laughs> Kara? <laughs> yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah, no shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra, an organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? All right, everyone, choose carefully between the blue or the red pill. Mine has a third option. It says green. That's so strange. I'm gonna choose it. It could be something amazing. Ooh. Brianna, look, I can fly. Whoa! What special ability did you get? I don't know. Nothing's happened yet. I probably don't even have ability. I knew I shouldn't have chose that green one. Don't look now. Your crush Kevin is coming this way. Hi, Kevin! Kevin! Oh no. He's not breathing. Emily, what is going on? Emily! What happened here? I'll go get the nurse. Don't you understand, Brittany? They're gone! Brittany! What is going on? Wait a minute. It's me. I did this. Every time I said their name, they, they stopped breathing. What happened here? I, I, I don't know. Everybody just all of a sudden collapsed. Quickly, come with me. We need to figure out what's going on. Hello, I'm Officer Brad. Hello, Officer. I like to make this a comfortable environment. Don't worry, you can address me by my name. No. Don't be disrespectful. Say my name. It's rude not to do what a police officer says. Say it. Brad? I can't believe what happened to Officer Brad. He dropped, just like the others. I know, it's crazy. I found something strange on the security footage. Will you come have a look at it with me? Yeah, of course. There must be some kind of pattern. It looks like everybody dropped right after you said their name. Have you shown anybody else this footage? No, I just discovered it. You deleted everything. That's all I need. Goodbye, Susan. The teacher, she fell to the floor. I know, I don't know what happened. She's not breathing. You did something. You said goodbye and then she dropped. How did you know she would do that? You talk too much, Gary. Attention everyone, in order to keep all of our students safe, school will be cancelled until this situation is resolved. Thank you for your patience. Yay, no school! I hope this case never gets resolved. It's so weird what happened, they just stopped breathing for literally no reason. Look, it's her! She was there for the whole thing. She saw everything that happened. Yeah, and it was absolutely traumatizing. I'll need at least a week to recover. There's no way. You're definitely involved in this somehow. Yeah, she's right. How come you're the only one who's safe? You guys really need to know when to stop talking. Cynthia. No, no, please, I'm sorry. Jennifer. What? I only have one day left? Look who's 18 now. How much time did you get? One day. Here, I got 99 years. I'll give you some of my time. Thanks, but it doesn't really matter. My time's gonna run out sooner or later anyways. Hey, let's go to that coffee shop you love so much. It will cheer you up for sure. Good idea. 
I'll be right back. I'm just going to use the bathroom. Why do you look so sad? Oh, you know, it's nothing. It's just that my time left is only one week, so... I wish I only had a week left. I got infinite time. I've already lived hundreds of years. Infinite time? That's not even possible. Where did she go? What did I miss? A strange lady just approached me telling me she has infinite time and that she wishes she only had a week left. Infinite time is impossible. No way. She gave me her infinite time. I, I have to find her. Wait. Where did she go? She couldn't have gone that far. Brianna, don't you understand? She gave you all her time, meaning she's gone for good. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to give you at least a couple hundred years, you know, so I'm not so lonely, living for all eternity. Error. I'm sorry. Error. It won't let me. Either I give you my infinite years or nothing. I'm going to be all alone. <laughs> Why are you crying? Are you okay? My time left is only two days. It's going to be okay. You're not going anywhere. No, you don't understand. It's over for me. I've already been lent so much time. What are you doing? Goodbye. Okay, question number one. Let's go. How old are you? That's so easy. I'm 20. What's four plus four? Eight? What kind of questions are these? What color is the sky? <laughs> Be so thrilled. It's blue. Hey Giselle, how have your questions been? Mine have all been super easy. I only have two questions left. I'm gonna meet my soulmate in no time. Lucky, mine are all hard. Good luck. What liquid is vital to live? Water? Okay, here we go. My last question. What is your brother's favorite color? But I don't have a brother. Mom? Mom? What liquid is vital to live? Water? Okay, here we go. My last question. What is your brother's favorite color? But I don't have a brother. What? Mom? Mom? Yes, sweetie? Do I have a brother? Why would you ask that? The system asked me what my brother's favorite color is. Come with me, hun. I need to tell you something. What is it you need to tell me? You do have a brother. I gave him up for adoption because I couldn't care for him. Do you know where he is? I have no idea. I'm sorry, honey. I need to go find him. Giselle, are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. My mother just told me I had a brother I never knew about, and I need to find him. But I have no idea where to start. I think I can help you. What's my superpower today? Hello? This system is whack. Hey, girl. Oh, hey. What superpower did you get today? I don't know. It's still loading. That sucks. Yeah, tell me about it. I really like your dress, by the way. I wish I had one just like it. Oh my gosh, yeah, take it. Um, no, that's okay. Put your clothes back on. Okay, class, it's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> Sir, can't you just give us the A? You know what? Yeah, A is for everyone. Wait, for real? Yeah, why not? Cool. I can't believe you got him to give us A. Me neither, that's crazy. It's insane. Hey, I really like your glasses. Can I have them? Yeah, yeah, take them. Thanks. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have some fun with this power. What's my superpower today? Mind control. This is gonna be fun. Hey, big sis, can you give me a ride to school? No, you can walk. Let me rephrase. Give me a ride to school. Of course I'll take you. Cool. I'll wait in the car. Hey, Giselle, are you ready for the test? Test? What test? The math test? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Ten bucks says I can get him to cancel it. You're so on.
Okay, class, get seated and get ready for the test. Uh, Mr. Bates, I don't want to write the test today. Too bad, get seated. Cancel the test. The test is cancelled. No way you just did that. Hey, Jake. Hey, Giselle. Me and you are going on a date tonight. No, we aren't. I said me and you are... That's not going to work on me. Do you think I'm dumb? What's my superpower today? It's stuck on loading again. This always freaking happens. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. Your hair looks so good. Why, thank you. Are you lying to me? What? No. Well, that dress makes you look fat. Girl, doesn't Mr. Fitz look so good today? Uh, sure. Are you in love with him or something? What? No, that's ridiculous. That's a little sus. Hey, baby. You want to get drunk and nasty? For sure. Wait, you don't want to get drunk and nasty? Yes, of course I do. We're done. Did you hear that Jessica disappeared? Really? What happened to her? I have no idea. Three, two, one. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year! Let's reveal our marks. Okay, you go first. Okay. You got red. Ah, uh, phew. All right, my turn. Oh, shit. What? Just look at this mirror. <sighs> you got purple. I don't think this is a good idea. Shh, stay still. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look, who said being gifted is a bad thing? I mean, do we really need to change my mark? Yes, I heard rumors about what might happen to the gifted people, and it's really not good. This just in, all the purple marks will be taken in by the government for experimentation, as they could be a potential threat to normals and therefore need to be examined by professionals. Honey, let's go. We're late. W where are we going? Lizzie, it's time for the mark check. That's today? Yes, let's go. Let's see your mark. It's smeared. Uh, yeah, it just appeared like that. Mm-hmm. We have a code 52. What's a code 52? No questions. Come with me. Just as I thought. You should have done a better job with the makeup. Well, actually, my friend did it. Right. Blame it all on your friend. But she did. Don't get her angry. We don't know what she's capable of. Fine. Prepare the scanner. Scanner? Quiet. No talking, please. Turn your head to the side and stay still. Scanning. Level 10. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? She must be the one. It can't be. Quick, someone get her a room and get her labeled now. What is going on and why is there a 10 on my neck? It's the danger level of your powers. Powers? What do you mean by powers? Everyone with a purple mark has been gifted with powers. You have them too. I do? Mm-hmm. Now prepare her for testing. Welcome to the testing room. We will now determine what power you have. There's been a mistake. I don't have powers. Of course you do. They just haven't been activated. Well, how does that happen? We found that it happens during a time of distress. Okay, now that's on. Let's try mind reading. This is ridiculous. Just say what number you think I'm thinking of. I don't know, uh, two. Wrong. Ow! So sorry, but this is part of the process. Ten. No, wrong again. No, please. I'm telling you guys, I don't have mind reading. Look, it's been half an hour. Probably should give her a break. No, we have to keep going. No, she needs to rest. Would both of you just be quiet? Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it! I'm calling Daddy! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait! What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The Prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. 
You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. <laughs> You have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? Vandaag gaan een goede dag wees. Wacht, hoe kom praat ik hier die vreemde taal? Mama, mama, alsjeblieft help. Ik praat hier die vreemde taal en ik weet niet hoe kom nie. Honey, that's your soulmate's language. My soulgenootse taal? Yes, and you'll only be able to speak English again once you meet him. Wonderlijk. Ik is geskruf. Hey Giselle. Goeiemorgen Jessica. Why are you speaking Afrikaans? This name is Skulti. My seals can not brought to Girl, you're gonna struggle to find him. Yo, this is what I could get. Come, Kom, ons my class too. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number seven? Um, yo, I could get 960. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number seven? Um, yo, ja, I could get 960. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Girl, did you see the new guy? Isn't he so cute? Yo, ja, Kate. And weet you where is he? Yeah, he's from South Africa. And what are in South Africa? They speak Afrikaans. Wait, that means he's your. Yep. In on set winner. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jij tijd eindelijk twee uur met elkaar gezet. You have to go talk to him. Is jij mal? Ik ga niet met hem praten. Ik sta zien weer achter. You're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, um, I'm Michael. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jij tijd eindelijk twee uur met elkaar gezet. You have to go talk to him. Is jij mal? Ik ga niet met hem praten. Ik sta zien weer achter. Well, you're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, I'm Michael, and you are. Oh, you can't speak? No, she can. No, apparently she can't. Girl, I can't believe you just did that. Wat anders moest ik doen? Ik sta bang om met hem te praten. Well, if you don't talk to him, you're never gonna be able to speak English again. Ja, ik weet. If you don't go talk to him today, I'm gonna tell him you were lying. All right, all right. Axel met hem praat. Good choice. Hello, um, jij hebt gezien, naam is Michael. Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans? That means you're my. Hello, um, jij hebt gezien, naam is Michael. Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans. That must mean you're my. Jouw sales genoeg. Exactly, but. Why are you still speaking Afrikaans and I'm still speaking English? 
Nou dat jy dit noem. Ja, dit is nogal vreemd. Ek wonder hoe kom praat ek nog steeds Afrikaans en jy nog steeds Engels. I don't know, but it's really weird. Ek gaan gaan probeer uitvind. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Yeah, girl, what's up? Okay, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wie anders is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans is nie. Did you know that Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Yeah, girl, what's up? Ok, so, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wel, as dit nie hy is nie, wie is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans praat nie. Well, did you know Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Denk jy, dis talk hy? There's one way you could find out. Ok, waar kan ek om kry? I think he's in the cafeteria. Ok, ek gaan met hom gaan praat. Giselle, there you are. I've been looking for you. Michael, hello. Um, ek soek eindelijk jou boete. Ek moet met hom praat. Why do you want to speak with my brother? Ek wil jou nie seer maak nie, maar ek denk jou boete is dalk my seels genoot. That's impossible. It's me. Hey, I'm Jake. I'm Michael's brother. Hi, I'm Giselle. Ready for the cool school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling... Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Isn't the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No. Legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? <laughs> they would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just... Ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well... Attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. 
Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in the school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please, work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I am sorry I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate? I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh, Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is a peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me? Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot! Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked. Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> All right, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmates, clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes come- I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I going to have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well, then there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I... I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us! Good morning. Mother, about last night. Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. 
What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's alright. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you.